In this episode, we explore northern Portugal and Galicia, where we will make a stop at a 2,500-year-old Iron Age town. No, I did this wrong. Let's go back. It's, it's back towards the road anyway. We're blocked by a tractor to get to our river spot. Not for long, Jill, not for long. Feels amazing to be back in um, a more northern climate. This is northern Daddy. Portugal, so it feels a lot more like Asturias or like Central Europe. It's really fresh, lots of deciduous trees. Um, and this is a Praia Fluvial, which is basically a river beach. And these are all over Portugal. What's amazing, the local city halls of each area will invest money into making amazing facilities around rivers and, and create beaches. Uh, just to kind of to improve the quality of life for the citizens, the people here. And so these are also water mills. And those we the water turns those wheels, which turn giant grinding stones, which mill flour, uh, all, all kinds of different flowers and corn. Nova de Cerveira. It's an amazing fortified town right on the border of Galicia, which is Spain, on the Minho River. So this was a really strategic point uh, to watch the border, to watch the Spanish across the Minho River. Uh, it's a beautiful place. We're loving it. What did we just find? So, an entire store dedicated to honey mead, which is This is our balcony. Where are we going today, Joy? We're going to take us to a nearby castle. We are going to a poo poo. An ancient castro. A poo poo with 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 poo poo on houses, and we're going to see the all. A house made of poop. top of Santa Tegra mountain uh, in Galicia, right on the border with Portugal. Um, so this is an Iberian Castro. A Castro is essentially the Iron Age version of a fortified town. Uh, and the Iron Age was essentially the time period that was, that was stretching to 1000 BC. Um, so the tribes that controlled this area and controlled this Castro were the Grovi. They were powerful clans that were um, of the Galician tribal confederation. And uh, yeah, this was during the Iron Age up until the Roman conquest. The Romans um, conquered this Castro and made it a Roman settlement. But it's actually one of the biggest um, fortifications, one of the biggest fortified towns of that era in all of Iberia, spanning 20 hectares, which is pretty massive. And it would have had quite a sizable population. And we're gonna show you there's all kinds of stone, uh, rings of stone houses that were um, Basically, bar they were pens for animals and houses for humans as well. The discovery of the mining and smithing of metals at the beginning of the Bronze Age revolutionized the European world. It allowed for leaders and elites to accumulate far more wealth and power than they ever were able to in history. And that also increased the tendency for raiding and warfare. 
And so um, during the Iron Age, roughly 1000 BC, people started moving into fortified cities at the tops of mountains. This was also, this was partially for defense so that they could defend themselves from invasion, but also uh, for the purpose of being able to control uh, their territory, their area. The top of this mountain, this is Santa Tegra, um, and you can literally see from the top of the mountain, 360 degrees for uh, probably 100 kilometers. I mean, you can see super far on a clear day. Today we're in a cloud, it's completely cloudy. Um, but this way to the north, you can see up the whole Galician coast, you can see the whole Mingyu River to the east. Uh, the Mingyu River was an incredibly important economic route of trade. Um, going into the capital of the Grovey territory, which is Tui, that's uh, a little ways up the Mingyu River. But there, in the old days, there have been a lot of trade all throughout the ages, even today, trade up and down the Mingyu River. I've been wanting to come here for so many years, so for me it's such a dream to be standing in the midst of all of these old stones and it just my imagination runs wild with what the lives were like of the people who lived here um, their religion their warfare their uh, cuisine uh, all, all the all the ways that they lived I for me it would be a dream to be able to step into a time portal and arrive here in the Iron Age We just stopped in the town called Oya on the Galician coast and we're just going to get some lunch and jump in the ocean. It's going to be a quick stop, but it's really beautiful. So this is the monastery of Oya. It's right on this amazing beach and when the tide comes up it's um, a bigger beautiful lagoon to swim in. And over here there's three incredible surf spots. There's actually a right hand slab right there, a left hander out there, and another right. Um, a bunch of good reef breaks. I found some really tasty kelp. Feels um, very nutritious. This is uh, spring water coming out of the mountain and the sign says that it has curative properties. Just took a quick dip in the ocean because we now have a three hour drive ahead of us up the coast and then along the coast to our next Airbnb. So just wanted to cool off and get ready for being stuck in the car. Just pulled up to our Airbnb. It's a beautiful little fishing village called Rinlo on the coast of Galicia near Asturian border. And it's high tide so the fishing harbor is full of water. I think I might jump off that bridge over there. Mm -hmm. 